Hello everyone, Trent News TV here. I sound a little different, maybe if I do, it's because I'm kind of sick. And you also may be wondering, hey, why are we looking at your TV and the screen says Fortnite? Well, that's because I thought I'd do a little special for you guys. I thought I'd play some Fortnite on my Xbox One as a little thank you for, you know, liking my content. And I hope people like laughing at my bad jokes. So I'll be going into a solo, as you can see, there's Save the World Co-op PvE. I don't know what PvE stands for, but I know co-op is where you go into a story mode with other online players and you save the world. And then Battle Royale here is 100 player PvP, 100 player PvP Battle Royale. So we're going to be going into that and we're going to be going solo, unfortunately. Um, locker, banner, okay, ooh, hey, I actually changed my banner, I don't even know I can do this, uh, I gotta go with the coffee mug, oh, look, like, I'm gonna clear this due to OCD issue, okay, there we go, I'll do like, yeah, do it like, dark pink, there you go, okay, there we go, ah, okay, sounded weird, and how you get the umbrella is you have to win a round, and last night, me, and, Two other people I know, we uh, actually won a match, and I think you can actually uh, customize this. I don't know how you do that, but I mean, you can also get like different harvester tools. We're gonna have a pickaxe, so um, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's uh, oh, wrong thing, sorry. Let's get straight into this solo PvP match sort of thing. And actually, just so you guys can actually see the TV, I'm gonna focus on it. You know, like, focus. There we go. Turning down the brightness works all the time. So basically what it's doing now is it's looking for a solo match because, you know, they don't usually, people don't usually like to play solo. I'm also gonna go quickly check my internet. I don't know. That looks good. Um, oh, look at that, it's loading. So, anyway, um, as I was saying, the thing you see up top right, that bus, is uh, called the battle bus, and you are hovering over the map in that, and you get to select where you want to jump out. If you don't jump out, in case you're wondering, the bus just kicks you out anyway. And there's tons of towns and weird places you can explore. I'll show you the map right now. As you can see, huge map. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. About 17 or 18, like, known places to explore. And then on these mountains you see, there's tons of little hidden houses and secrets. And there's just tons of, tons and loads of epic things you can explore, you can visit. And it's just a real fun game. So you'll see, if I look at the back of the bus, you'll see a bunch of people starting to deploy and jumping out. And I'm actually going to be going around these mountains because I know there's, like, good loot over there. Um, I see the mountain right now. Should I? I can jump out now. And then, as you can see, you literally just skydive down into the area you're going. And it's this game is honestly flippin' epic, like, honestly, um, if you ever, like, get this game, trust me, you'll most likely love it. You either hate it or you don't, This it's one of these games. It's you either despise it or you like it. And as you can see, I have an umbrella, and when if you see someone with an umbrella, it means they've won a game of Battle Royale. <laughs> Ugh, see, I'm like, I have the sniffles and shit, I'm kind of sick. And basically, how I loot houses, and I'm pretty sure both my friends do, is you can have chests, and the chests are usually in the attics of houses. So just land on the roof, and then just shoot. Uh, as you can see, there's a chest right there. And then we've already got ourselves some grenades, a gun. I don't really want that. 
search the place, see if there's anything else good. There's an ammo box. And I'm gonna just leave out the back door. So yeah, there's tons of places and things you can explore. There's tons of like buildings that aren't actually on the map in this game. And the reason I'm playing solo is because, well, as I said, I'm sick, so I'm staying home. This morning, I threw up and I was dizzy and I didn't feel like, you know, me. So I was like, you know what, screw this. I'm not going to school all dead, so you know what? I'm I'm going to say screw you today, school, and I'm going to just stay home, make a special gaming video for you guys. And, yeah. No friends to FaceTime me halfway through my video to bug me. That's happened before, and it really makes me angry. So, yeah. So, you always got to check your back in a solo. I thought that was the butterfly was a person, so I just, my heart just dropped. I was like, am I seriously already dead? I just started this video off. Basically, what you do when you die is you just join a new server. Basically, is about what happens. I know there's a chest down there, but I know there'd be other players that might be... Over there, and might want to get that chest. So, <sighs> should we go for it? Just, just for shits and giggles, see if we can get it. See, it's dangerous doing stuff like that. But I only have one gun, and I'm gonna need other guns if I want to if I want to actually win the match. I don't know if you guys hear that, but that's gunshots, and I don't know if they're head. I don't know if they're heading towards me or they're heading towards someone else, but if you look at the kill board, somebody just died by a shotgun, and that actually did sound like a shotgun, so. Yep, as you can see, there's somebody on the bridge. There's somebody on the bridge down there. My guess they're going after the chest, okay. As you can hear, gunshots. I don't know if you can hear the TV. I hope you can. If you can't, there's gunshots, and you can look at the kill board, and you'll see how many people are dying. And up there, it'll show a cloud with lightning, uh, people 51, and then the skull is kills. It's 51 people. I haven't got any kills yet because, obviously, the match has just started. So, I think I'm going to... Actually, just see, there's a guy, I think, right down there. I don't really know. See, and if I were to try to get up there, I would slip. What I could do is... I could... Build some stairs. Because as you can see, you can even build uh, a ton of things out of a ton of different materials. And as you can see, that ticking is the timer for the storm and when it is coming. So the storm is moving, so if I just... If you guys look at the corners of the map, you'll see purple start to move, and that is the storm. But I'm safe because if you look, that white barrier is the circle you have to stay in so the storm doesn't kill you. So yeah, this game is pretty fun, and I know most people that are watching this probably know what this game is. Oh shit, see there's a guy running right there. I don't know if I should engage or not. Screw it, I'm, I'm engaging. Shit. Oh damn, he got me good. <laughs> God, get wrecked. No, I'm gonna die if I go down like that. I just grenaded him hardcore. His his loot's down there. Hope he has bandages because I am literally 25 health. And that is not good. Actually, I don't want to go that way. I feel like it's too dangerous. If he doesn't have bandages or a med kit, I swear I'm gonna be so mad. So if I go down there, I'll die, obviously. If I go down there, I'll die. So my only choice is actually this way. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not really that good. Let me just kind of... 
Oh shit. What the? Oh, I heard him running too. But I didn't know where he was. I heard like that. But I didn't know where it was coming from. Okay, that's okay. At least we got a kill. We got a pretty cool kill too. Um, we just... I think he must have got his loot. That's probably what happened. Did he give me the scar? He must have. Um, okay. So we'll just go into a different lobby now. And like I said, if I win my, my, if I win a solo game, that's like rare. People do it, obviously, like because there has to be a winner in that game. But if I did it, that would be cool because I'm bad at this game. So that would be really cool if I won. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do is win. And as you can see, going to those little abandoned house, house places, house split house, house. Houses? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Those little abandoned houses on those mountains and those hills. Nobody really goes around there, so it's actually a pretty ideal place where you could get some decent loot to start with. So, if you want to try that, you can. Trust me, it's way easier with friends. I'm not in a game right now. This is the lobby, so you can get, like, guns and you just, like, blast at people and shit. It's fun. You get to, you get to dick around, basically. Shoot some guns, you know, muck around. Shoot at people. So now we're in the battle bus. So this is now serious. It's serial, bro. So we're at seven. Where's that? There's seven. Um. So most people will be going to Flush Factory, but I think I'm going to go to maybe... Wait, is it? No, it's my camera angle. Should I go to Fatal Fields? Fatal Fields is that farm area down there. I don't know if I should go to Fatal Fields. Um, might just stick with the mountains, maybe. I already passed the mountains, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that mountain house. Screw it. And then, if you tap uh, X or A or I don't know what button it is on the computer, but just spam your um, parachute button, and you'll actually go a lot farther than you would, f as you can see. I'm not going down at all, and I'm just literally just, like, traveling across the map right now. This is kind of a bad place, because it's right outside of town that could have, potentially have other people. Oh, crap. This is actually kind of a bad idea. That's not... Actually, no, it, that could have a chest in it. And then maybe I could go sneak to that red house there, because I know there's a chest in there. Yeah, I see a chest. Do I? Is that a chest? There's gotta be a chest in here. Come on, don't fail me again, please. Please. Oh, wow, really? Take that ammo. Is there any guns, at least? Ooh. There's, at least there's a gun. Oh, wait, there is a chest. I can hear it. Where's the chest? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Ooh. And this time we got bandages. So, I'm gonna use this gun. No, this gun. There we go. See, like, these little abandoned house areas are actually good places for spawn. Just zoom around, make sure there's nobody. No, we're good. So now to this town where there's most likely going to be people. Oh yeah, there's a guy right there. Got him. Let's go claim our kill. Nice. See, in these towns, there's always a lot of people in these towns, so you need to be really careful. You gotta be really cautious when exploring towns. 
So always keep crouched and don't try to make too much noise. Clean sweep. That guy had like nothing. He just had some ammo. There could actually be a chest up there, but he might have gone. It's really dangerous doing this because people can obviously hear you breaking the roof or the ceiling, I mean, so you gotta be like kind of cautious. Oh, there's no chest up here? That really sucked. Oh, that's I mean, that's kind of sucks. So I could just break this out and just jump out. I'm gonna do that. I should have break out the windows and just jump out the back. It's kind of undetected. So as you can see, we already killed someone, which is good. I didn't even go to their house. I was supposed to go to that one. So. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run off into the background, kind of. Someone just died over there. Should be careful because... Okay, I'm gonna stay on the brim of the circle. Where not a lot of people may be. Okay, there's no way in hell that people would be here because this spot is not accessible from behind. So I'm actually... I could build a little bit of a base here for two minutes, kind of. I don't know if I should do that, though. I feel like I should just kind of stick outside the brim of the circle like I am. And if somebody attacks me, then I can start building a little bit of a base and try to... Oh, shit, there's somebody. I just saw them. They're... Yeah, they're there. Should I engage? Engaging. I got him startled. <laughs> I scared the balls off him. I literally scared the testicles out of his sack. I don't know what that is. I think he just ran. He's kind of like, holy shit, where's this guy? Screw it, I'm just gonna book it. That's what I do sometimes. I'll just, like, book it. Like, you know, I don't wanna really want to die at the beginning. Wish I got him, though, because I only have one kill. I want to get at least two. Usually there's chests in areas like this where people won't normally go. Just, like, that odd occasional guy will just go there just to check it out. His consequences will be pretty lucky. And there's also airdrops near the end of the game. So, it's kind of like Dying Light like that. They have like airdrops in that zombie game, Dying Light. I don't know if you've ever heard it. If you haven't, just YouTube it and then you'll instantly know what I'm talking about. So, I'm afraid that there's somebody... That's where that guy died, right in that window. So, I don't know if I should build a base because... Right when I do that, it's like I might as well just start shooting in the air. It's putting myself into plain sight. I'm engaging because they don't notice me. Gotta get my M16 out and just kind of like... Oh, really? No, that's bullcrap. That's not... What? A hundred health? No. He's gotta be, like, cheating or something. And then that guy comes in and shoots him two times and he's dead. That doesn't make any sense, bro. Like, actually. Um, well, I guess I guess I've kind of showed you the gist of this game. I'm kind of getting sick of playing solo already. Because once, you know, it kind of gets boring playing solo. It's more, I'll make another video on this if you want with a team and we'll actually do way better. So, yeah, that's about all for this video. I will see you guys in the next. Goodbye. I said goodbye.